good evening everyone so now we are going to start our second day of class on effect of therapeutic taping in posture and human cell so i will request her to start the class okay uh, so quickly we will uh, revise within 2 minutes what we have studied yesterday so we have talked about the basics of uh, taping uh, we we have talked about the different types of tape we have talked about uh, uh, what, what else to be taken care of before applying the tape what are the taping principles removal method and uh, and we have talked about the different cuts and we have talked about the kinetic taping so uh, before proceeding further i just wanted to show you quickly uh, about some you know uh, some uh, cut or cut soft tape what we use it in the application so first we'll talk about the i shape so like this you cut the tape and round the corners and it will become as a i shape okay then we talked about the y shape y shape is the tape which is just you cut the tape from the middle and it will it has two different parts so it will become like a y so it is a y shape tape okay then you have x shape so same i strip what you can do is you can cut from this way and you can cut from this way and you can see the difference you know it will become x shape so this is one x shape and then you have fan shape so what you can do is cut one i strip and cut down four or five uh, layers so so it will become like this it will become as a fan so this is a fan shape then you have smaller i strips uh, where we use it so uh, these are the common uh, cut of tape we use it and it is applied according to the condition everywhere and these are the basic tape tape cut and the design can be different you know so design design can be different but these are the basic cuts we use it in the taping application so let's proceed further with the posture so first before we need to know what is posture posture is basically a position or attitude of the body a relative arrangement of body parts for a specific activity or a characteristic manner of bearing the body so basically posture is how uh, your body positions are there and how it uh, takes the body weight so that uh, actually whole thing gets as a posture so what exactly posture means posture is basically a pelvis in neutral position with weight distributed on the whole foot so both both foot has a equal weight distribution then you have stable joints stable joints basically it refers to the pelvis joints where you know you have asis or that 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 should be stable enough in a line and then you have tight abdominals abdominals should be tight upright ribs ribs should be in a place upright position it should not be down then retracted shoulder straight shoulder and over the ears so this is a basically a posture so what even you can say say that the anatomical position also is one of the you can you can correlate with the posture position correct posture position so this is about the posture so in detail we will talk about later on about the posture uh, there is a scarcity of time so we i'm quickly going on the uh, how we we do a taping with a case study so i'll come to this slide later before i wanted to show you he is a 17 year old male and you can see the first day when he came to me with this kind of posture and in this in his posture he is he is unable to flex or bend his back and he has a very very tight hamstring and then you can see the position of the uh, scapula it it is like in a very weird shape you know here was the tightness here was the tightness so after only five sessions i have given the manual therapy tens and taping only three things i have done it so a uh, little bit you know adjustments of the bones i have done it so after five sessions you can see the position see see and see this 
and this is how i taped him and whenever i taped him i always tell to keep it for two days at least because here in jaipur uh, it's too hot so uh, if you apply the tape for, for a long period of time there are chances for the blisters and the rashes so this this photo is for today is of today today he came just now and i given him the treatment this photo is i think two or three sessions before when the total sessions was five so today is the sixth session so that after five sessions this was the uh, uh, position and today i given the session and after that i did the tape like this so basically uh, in to correcting the posture we always release the tight muscles first and then we go for a man manual adjustments of the bone and then we give tens to uh, relax the muscle or to strengthen the muscle and then we do some uh, theraband exercises to strengthen the muscle and uh, then we apply the tape in such a manner where the if you can see the scapula is completely this way so we have to give the position in this way i i'll, I'll show you come to the fourth slide so this is the slide you can see the basic anatomy of the scapula and how it works when you lift when you flex you do a flexion of the shoulder it 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 will move in such a way and here how the muscles will move when you do a flexion so this will tilt in this way but the if you see the position of the patient scapula you see the position here and you see the normal position how much the difference it is it comes approximately near to your spine so we have to move this way and fix the scapula in its normal position so this is how we do it okay and slowly slowly approximately i think uh, another uh, 10 session or 12 session you can see here there is no gap here we started getting a gap so once this gap becomes normal your scapula goes into the normal position so this is how we we do uh, this is a one case study where you know uh, we uh, tape the scapula we actually tape the your uh, neck muscles and thoracic muscles so and even uh, i have also released his you know uh, hamstrings and the quadriceps equally because if you don't uh, release one uh, group of muscles it will create a problem later on yeah, so this is how we do a posture correction it's a extreme case you can say that okay now before getting into this uh, anybody is having any type of question related to this posture sir if a patient come in our opd uh, patient asked that if he flex the shoulder then uh, scapula moves laterally right what could be the reason and how can we correct it see it, it, the same thing happening with this guy when he flex it this this goes see see the position so what happens the reason is the the reason sometimes the people having a congenital issues sometimes the people has a bad posture those who you know see they see a mobile or they sit like uh, 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 round shoulders just uh, bend their shoulders and sit equal the time and sometimes they lift a very very heavy weight and bend forward so uh, the, uh, the maximum of the time the occupational position actually creates this kind of problem and second is congenital so in this case the uh, the uh, problem is congenital and they they have not seen it before now when he became he became of 17 years then he they found out something is wrong because he getting some issues okay so now if you if you go to before slide see this is the normal position when you flex the shoulder it goes in a protraction then you have anterior tilt and you see the scapula goes in a medial and lateral rotation way so and the that's how the muscle moves so if you want to correct the posture remember one thing whatever the case of posture issue you have to release the muscle and fix the muscle because there must be a issue with the one group of muscle which is not which is overused 
or which is not used that muscle will become weak and tight because of your nodes or because of your you know extra bone formations or because of your lactic acid formations because of non use of the muscle so many reasons are there so there will be definitely one group of muscle that you have to assess and release that muscle and along with that do the taping that taping will hold whatever release you have done it okay and then the patient will do the exercises with the within the, with the tape on that will again double help to the patient to strengthen the muscle that's how we have to do it understand yes sir okay so before going to the women's health i have my friend uh, dr vicky mao from hong kong she has taken one you know um, uh, one uh, 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 lecture in my latest conference on the women's health so i wanted to show you that video so that you will be able to understand about the women's health and the pilot study on the taping uh, so we does together that uh, research work so and and then after that i'll come up with a beautiful technique where you can uh, utilize in a pms pain and that will give you the beautiful result so before going into this let's uh, see the video first is it audible to everyone is it audible to everyone no so it's not audible it's not audible okay wait the topic on now is audible the now it's audible yes sir audible yes menstrual okay. pain hope you will like it so menstrual pain is defined as the pain suffered from female during the menstruation its location is over the lower abdominal area concentrated in the super pubic area and it may radiate to the low back and the upper thigh when you look at the uterus the anatomy you can find that the uterus composed of three layers of wall the outermost layer is the perimetrium it consists of series layer of uh, visceral per peritoneum the middle layer is the myometrium which consists of uh, smooth muscle and it is the contraction of this layer myometrium which cause the muscle cramping during our menstruation The innermost layer is the endometrium, and it is an inner endo-epithelial layer, and it is a functional layer. It will be thickened and slotted out during the menstrual menstrual cycle. There are two types of um, menstrual pain, and the other name for menstrual menstrual pain is dysmenorrhea. There are two types of dysmenorrhea. One is primary, and the other one is secondary. Primary that means there are pure menstrual pain without any underlying pathologies secondary means there are underlying pathologies which cause the menstrual pain for example endometriosis endometriosis is the um, a painful disorder in which there are tissue similar to our endometrium but it lies outside the uterus endometriosis is usually um, formed by backflow of our menstrual blood and it is um, a cause of um, infertility in female another secondary dysmenorrhea this this is caused by uterine fibers which is the benign tumor inside the uterus the third one is the endomyosis it is the um, um, condition in which the inner lining of the uterus that is the endometrium breaks through into our myometrium 
The fourth one is pelvic inflammatory disease. The fifth one is intra uh, uterine contraceptive devices and also uh, some uterine malignancy. So in this pilot study, uh, kinesio taping only treat primary dysmenorrhea, but not secondary. So um, our uterus huh? is usually located behind are you are you and in front of the sigmoid So what happened during our menstrual cycle? Each month, our endometrium builds up in the preparation of pregnancy. If we are not pregnant after the ovulation, the X is not fertilized by a sperm, and the um, current line of the uterus is no longer needed, and therefore the woman's estrogen and progesterone level will be declined. And the lining of the uterus will become swollen and eventually shade out of the vagina as a menstrual flow. And the line will be replaced by a new one during the next month cycle. So what happened? Um, when the uterine line breaks down, there is a molecular compound, which is a hormone-like uh, chemical called postglandulins, will be released and it will cause the myometrium to contract, which is the smooth muscle, right? The contraction of the myometrium will cause the constriction of the endometrium. And this will block the delivery of oxygen to the endometrium and it will in turn break down and die. After the death of the endometrium, the uterine contraction will squeeze the old endometrial tissue through the cervix and out of the body in the way of the vagina. And the contraction of the myometrium, if it is a very severe one, will cause um, menstrual pain. The difference be between menstrual cramps um, that are more painful and that with a less painful are related to women's post ganglion level. You may have a question. Can we measure and quantify the menstrual pain? Um, the answer is yes. The measurement is by an intrauteral pressure prop. There are two internal props connected to a, a pressure transducer, and it will be placed in the fundus of the uterus. And three parameters will be measured. One is the uh, actual pressure of the contraction. The other one is the frequency of the contraction. And the third one will be the uh, duration of the contraction. When we look Take a look at this uh, table, you will find that a woman with normal menstrual cycle, the uterus contraction is only 50 to 80 mm mercury. But women with dysmenorrhea, it may exceed 400 mm mercury, which is five to eight times for a normal woman. So the frequency of contraction, you can see that a woman with dysmenorrhea is one per 15 seconds. A normal woman will be one to four per 10 seconds. And um, this one is 10 to 40 times more than uh, the normal woman. The duration of contraction for a woman with uh, menstrual pain, it lasts for 90 seconds for one contraction. And the woman with normal menstrual uh, cycle only lasts for 15 to 30 seconds, which is three to four uh, times. When we add up, all the components, you will find that a woman with dysmenorrhea is uh, her suffering. The contraction, the frequency of contraction and the duration of contraction add up a total of 18 to 52 times more than a normal woman. So, men, audience, please be good to your wife or your girlfriend when they are having a menstrual pain because their vagina, their uterus are doing a very vigorous exercise inside her body. So it is very normal for her to be physically exhausted, emotionally ups uh, upset, or um, uh, very irritated. So be pleasant to your wife. So when does menstrual pain happen? It will usually happen um, within four hours after the onset of bleeding, and it will subside one or two days later. So for the traditional way of menstrual pain, uh, women usually consume um, methods like they will take uh, over-the-counter medication, or they will take bed rest, or they, they will take traditional uh, relief like hot packs and um, 
uh, hot tea and so on. So today I would like to introduce a, a brand new method to you, which is kinesio tape. Now take a look at this uh, taping method. There are two tapes altogether. Um, I am using classic tape in, the, in this demonstration. And this is, um, the anchor is over the central part of the super pupil area. And um, the direction of the tape is towards your pelvis. And the tape tension is 50%. This is the direction of tape application. So why does it work? When we took a look at the uterine, uterine contraction during menstruation, you can see that um, the contraction of the myometrium is longitudinal to the uterus, therefore in this direction. And the myometrium is uh, consisted of smooth, uh, smooth muscle. So in the uh, peak of the contraction, you can see that uh, the uterus will be contracted and shortened in order to have enough force to squeeze the unused endometrium out of our body. So the tape application is in this way and the direction of recoil is towards the center. That means if the contraction of the uterus is longitudinal, the recoil of the kinesio tape is horizontal. Remember this uh, table? For the woman with that dysmenorrhea, the contraction pressure of the uterus may exceed 400 mm mercury, which is a very large force, which can cause severe menstrual cramp. And therefore, the kinesio tape should offer a weak oil force large enough to counteract the 400 mm mercury horizontally so as to relax the uterus and relieve the menstrual cramp. So how does kinesio work? Just as I said, contraction of the uterus is longitudinal. Recoil of kinesio tape is horizontal and therefore it is large enough to counteract the uterus contraction yet large enough to squeeze the endometrial tissue through the cervix. So in our pilot study, there are some recruitment criteria. The woman should be uh, aged between 12 to 50, suffering from moderate to severe menstrual pain every month. They have to be severe enough to absent from school or from work. And they have to take drugs in order to kill the menstrual pain. And um, we only treat primary dysmenorrhea only. So this is the pre-taping questionnaire. It consists of um, four pages, and there are a series of um, questions, like how to describe the severity and quantify your uh, pain level from uh, zero to 10, and um, how many years have you suffered from uh, 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 menstrual pain, and um, is it consistent with the uh, pain level, is consistent with the uh, emotional upset, and um, will you need to take uh, bad rest or absenteeism from your work or school. You need to take drugs. Um, what kind of drugs have you taken? Over-the-counter drugs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or uh, morphine-like uh, type drugs or the drugs are prescribed by your doctor or any other treatment like hot pack, exercise, and so on. And uh, the last question is um, asking the participant, are you willing to um, use method other than a traditional way to treat your menstrual pain? And are you willing to um, introduce it to your friend? So the post-taping questionnaire is the follow-up of the pre-taping menstruation. And um, there is one question asking, how long did the tape uh, take to reduce the menstrual pain significantly? Uh, the choice is from zero minute to um, 120 minutes. And um, is the pain effective to reduce the emotional upset consistent with the pain? Uh, do you need to take drugs anymore after the pain? Do you need to uh, rest on the bed? 
after the taping or are you uh, still need to absent from work or from school? So for the um, real recruitment of participants, there are 14 volunteers come into contact with me. Um, however, there are two of them are suffering from secondary dysmenorrhea. One is not absent from work and the other one, uh, her pain scale is only five out of 10. There were four, four of them are excluded. At the end of the day, there are only 10 participants in this uh, pilot studies. The average age of the women are 39 and the average pain scale and emotional upset are eight out of 10. And the average time for their bed rest is seven to nine hours for each menstrual cycle. And the average absenteeism is two to four days per year. And commonly they are taking paracetamol 500 milligram uh, to 1,000 milligram TDS uh, or NSAID like constant uh, or Botrytis BD for uh, each menstrual cycle. And uh, the effectiveness of the drug is they can reduce their pain scale averagely from 8 to 3.5 after taking the drugs. For other methods like heart pack, exercise, and Chinese medicine, their pain scale are relieved averagely from 8 to 5. And all of them do not know kinesiotape before this pilot study. So after the taping, we can take a look at the result. It was quite amazing and um, encouraging and promising. So all of the 10 participants have a very significant reduction of menstrual pain and the average scale is from eight to two. And the emotional upset is consistent with the pain. That means uh, the emotional upset is also went down from eight to two. There are no need for them to take any kind of drugs after the taping and there are no need for them to take any absenteeism uh, as leave from their work and school and they are not necessary to take any bad rats after the taping also the average time for the kinesio tape to work effectively is 31 to 60 minutes that that means half an hour to an hour so after the taping um the pilot study, they are willing to use kinesio tape for menstrual pain in the future instead of taking the over-the-counter drugs or hot pack and the Chinese herb and so on. And uh, all of them are willing to recommend kinesio tape to their female friends in the future in order to cure their menstrual pain. And they said they should have known kinesio tape much earlier so that they can suffer less from the menstrual pain. So there are some interesting um, extra information from the result. There are two candidates with um, uh, change of the menstrual flow after uh, the taping. Candidate one report that there is increase in the volume of blood flow after the taping, but her pain scale went down from eight to three. Another candidate, which is candidate three, reported that there is decrease in the blood flow after the taping with her pain scale went down from eight to zero. So let's come to the part of discussion. So um, menstrual pain is very common among the uh, women with reproductive ages and it causes absenteeism from school and work. And uh, most of the women were treated with over-the-counter medication or bad rest. Absenteeism from work and uh, school caused by the pain, caused economic loss and physical suffering of the women. Kinesiotape pain can be introduced to the world for a new form of non-invasive and non-drug taking method to treat the menstrual pain. Kinesiotape is not expensive and it is very user friendly. The taping technique, the application is not difficult to learn and the application is very convenient. Kinesiotape is hypoallergic and it is not irritate, irritable to our skin and it can be left on our body for two to three days with one application. It does not cause any stomach disturbance, which can be caused by the NSAID and the over-the-counter medication. And kinesiotape is effective to treat menstrual pain. 
So patient with large body build will wonder if the tape tension can be higher so that uh, the residual two points of pain, which is from point A to point two, uh, the pain scale, but not zero, can be also be settled. The answer is no, because for, for the property of kinesio tape, any tape tension higher than 50%, there is no recoil and it become a rigid tape. Therefore, the tape tension has to be uh, just 50% or lower. Therefore, in order to tackle that problem uh, with larger body build, uh, tape, instead of 5 cm wide, you can use a 7 cm wide in order to have a larger area of taping. Or if you do not have any 7 cm wide kinesio tape, you can use two 5 cm tape in order to make it as a 10 cm uh, wide tape in order to cover the large body build. Now here, I have used the fingerprint for the demonstration, but in actual uh, demonstration, I will use the classic tape in order to uh, apply for high tension technique. Fingerprint usually is used for uh, uh, overactive muscle correction and EDF application, which is um, less and low um, high uh, low tension application. So back to our result, there are two candidates with uh, change in blood flow. There are some hypotheses by me. Now candidate three, since that is the pain scale is uh, went down from eight to zero, her blood flow decreased. Since she can fully relax the uterus after the kinesio taping, that means the endometrium can be pushed effectively by kinesio. And that means that he, her uterus um, can have less contraction. And therefore her pain scale went from eight to zero. And therefore, since the uterus have less contraction and the blood flow decrease, and it is consistent with the um, pain scale uh, trend. So candidate one, her blood scale, uh, her pain scale went from down from eight to three with increase in blood uh, flow. That means he, her uterus cannot be fully relaxed even by the uh, application of the kinesio tape. Therefore, her uterus contract together with the kinesio taping recoil in order to push the endometrium out of the body together. Therefore, there are two forces happening in the uterus, and this accounts for the increase in blood flow. Now, we have talked about postaglandin, right? It is the uh, hormone-like substance which stimulate the contraction of the myometrium during our menstruation. The level of postaglandin determine the level of um, uterus contraction, and the amount of uterus contraction determine the amount of blood flow. If kinesio is able to con alter the volume of the blood, that means kinesio can may be able to alter the level of postaglandin. Endometriosis is uh, possibly formed by backflow of blood, the visual grade. If kinesio is able to alter the volume of the blood flow, that means it may be able to prevent the formation of endometriosis and it may help to prevent the infertility of women here. Conclusion. So this is only a pilot study and the sample size is small. There are only 10 women recruited in this study. Therefore, if um, we're going to have a, a, a formal study, we, we should have a large sample size. Second, um, we should have a, a randomized controlled trial. So a control group should be included in the study in order to make it more objective. Therefore, the degree of uterus contraction with and without kinesio taping should be included. Third, um, the recoil of the kinesio taping it now is not uh, recorded quantitatively. We only ask the uh, female if they have any improvement in the menstrual pain subjectively. If the recoil of the kinesio taping 
can be measured in terms of mmRNA or Pascal, it can be made uh, more objective for the whole pilot study. Last but not least, the actual volume of the blood flow with and without kinesial can be carried out with um, weighing the napkin, the female napkin, uh, the net napkin and the napkin with menstrual blood so that we can uh, deduct it and to get the net uh, weight of the menstrual flow in order to measure the actual increase in blood volume and decrease in blood volume for the candidate with the change of the blood flow to make it more quantitative and objective. So that's it here. Now we are going to um, have a demonstration on the actual uh, kinesio tapping on uh, uh, model. So let's move on to the model. Now we will take a look at the demonstration of the real application of the kinesio tapping. Now assume this spot is the belly button of our body. Um, the tape will apply four inches below the belly button so that it is on top of the uh, middle part of our uterus. Now, usually we will use um, two plastic tape instead of fingerprint in order to entertain the high uh, tension application. For uh, a normal, a woman with normal uh, ordinary body build like me, uh, two tapes with four blocks is enough. If you have a larger body build, you, you have to extend it a little bit accordingly, right? So we should run up, run the edges first. And we have to apply it. The anchor at the end is zero tension. Uh, the middle part, the therapeutic part is 50% tension. Now, in order to start the therapeutic part right in the middle of the uterus, you have, we have to start the anchor beyond the midline of our body. That is a little bit beyond the midline. All right. And then we apply 50% tension here. But before that, if you have some fatty tissue over your abdominal, you should lift it up. Lift up the fatty tissue. Apply 50% tension and then towards the pelvic bone with zero tension. Now here, in the mid midline. And here is the full part of the anchor. So another tape on top of the first tape. So here is the midline. We will start beyond the midline, which is here. And the anchor is here. So here is 50% tension. And we try to lift up the fatty tissue over the abdominal. And we end towards the pelvic bone with zero tension. And therefore, at the end of the day, the direction of recoil is towards the center. Remember, because um, the contraction of the uterus for the woman with dysmenorrhea is over 400 mm mercury. Therefore, we use two tapes in order to have a very um, significant effect of recoil instead of one single tape, like the space correction with the anchor here and here. Uh, it is not enough to counteract the 400 mm mercury. So one thing to remind you, since the application of classic tape with 50% tension is somewhat uh, irritable to your skin. So before this application, it is better for you to have some preparation of the skin in order to make it um, not irritable. For example, you can apply some skin pap in order to have a protective layer on the skin or some um, fast absorbing horse oil in order to make uh, your skin more um, with more moisture so that the taping can be last longer on your skin and make it more effective and efficient. So that's it for today's today demonstration and presentation. Hope you will like it. Um, hope to see you in the future. Bye. Thank you. Okay. So
let's come back. Uh, hold on. Okay, so uh, let's go to next slide. Okay, so first, uh, before proceeding, uh, I would like to tell you this video is available on the AB Healthcare channel, which is uh, my channel where you can get uh, like likewise uh, so many videos on kinesio taping, and they all are official kinesio taping instructors from. Kinesio Taping Association International USA. So uh, you can watch the videos, uh, some other videos also, where you will also learn how to do the Kinesio Tape and other new uh, researches on the Kinesio Tape. So <clears throat> as you, as Dr. Vicky said, that uh, uh, there is no particular scale developed till now because it's a very fresh research on women's health. So uh, I am in a, a me and Dr. Vicky and some of the professors from the uh, Oxford University. We all are together working on it, and we are soon come up with some uh, you know measurement scale for the women's uh, pain and the uh, uh, menstrual flow. Okay, this uh, 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 Dr. Vicky has done a different method than. I tried to do it in a different way and I found out the result. I had tried this taping uh, while uh, making a whole, you know, women's health taping. I have developed a full course of women's health taping, uh, which we have started also uh, giving it on taping on women's health. So there are more than 25 to 30 techniques on uh, different uh, conditions for the women's health. So this is one of the one technique which uh, I have applied it uh, frequently on my patients. And um, uh, I have tried it on 10 patients, uh, those who are in the early 30s. And um, uh, I, uh, I tell you some few basic points which you can uh, remember and try it yourself on yourself or on the girls on yourself or uh, on your patients. Okay. So first thing, uh, you can calculate three or four fingers from the navel. Okay. And what you can do is take a uh, like fan shape, fan shape. Okay. So uh, in this, I have not cut the ends. So you wanted to cut the ends, you can do it. I have not done it intentionally because I don't want it to this tape come off very uh, easily uh, while cutting this like this. So what you can do is you do not cut the ends, just make it uh, the fan shape. Uh, and between and uh, just four fingers or three fingers below the navel. Uh, what you can do is uh, on lateral side and medial side, uh, you can keep one anchor uh, top. You can keep on the medial side and uh, ends at the lateral side. And then from uh, on the lateral side till uh, medial side. So basically it will be opposite direction from this way and from this way. So, Time period also matters and this taping will helpful as you know 90% of the women's they have a severe pain uh, initial two days of their menses so menstrual cycle so basically uh, this tape is helpful in reduction of the pain and what I found it uh, I did it three months only one session of taping just three to four days before the expected date of expected dates so I did the taping on the below the navel area and then this is a back. So lower back, I did the tape. I took two eye strip and did, did in a flexion position. And then I have applied one horizontal strip. So I covered the back and then the navel area and the uterus area. So I did it three days before their expected dates and keep this tape for at least four to five days. And I did repeat it for next month and next month. So three months I did it for one patient. I, I found out the drastical and magical results in their, uh, it increased their blood flow 
and the people those who have doesn't gets the regular periods they got the regular periods so that is that that changes i got it and obviously this uh, this uh, uh, results purely on their you know their response of the patient there is no scale to find out how but also what they told me they got uh, you know some psychologically they also improved the irritability of their body they got removed their mood mood swings also got reduced so this psychological uh, results also i got it with the one session of taping so this is uh, a taping okay before proceeding further anybody is ha having any any type of question no Okay. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, external application of taping, how is that has an effect on the prostaglandins inside, sir? See, basically, you uh, you know the basics of men menstruals, right? So, it actually, it increases the circulation. The basics is same every way. And still, I told you, this is an initial stage of research. So, we need to find out uh, uh, with the with the ultrasound and other uh, uh, techniques uh, in the later part we are working on it so what makes uh, this differences so so still we are on the initial stage of the study so uh, 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 but but basically what we uh, we concluded the basics of this it in, it, it you know it, it gives the room to flow the skin and uh, flow the blood so it uh, it increases the gap so that's why the the female might get less pain and the flow is more so still uh, we are not clear about how it affected so still we are working on it and we will publish the paper on it soon okay okay so we have talked about the cuts we have talked about the uh, taping methods so uh, now i will show you some of the common pictures for pictures for the common problems from for what you can do the tape in such a way uh, exactly the same if you want the good results faster okay so this is one uh, for the calf this can be used for calf weakness sports injuries calf pain so so uh, and this this method you can also use for achilles tendon so injury for that you can use this method so this is for the lymphatic drainage so the multiple problems we can use this kind of technique this is for purely for the lymphatic drainage so increase the blood flow uh, inside the calf and if there is a pain after the you know games or something then you can apply it it will also relax the muscle and this is this is the way we can do it for the achilles tendon you can do to support the calf you can do to support the uh, other muscles as well okay so next we can go for ankle sprain ankle pain so this method can be used for shin pain also for tibial tibialis anterior weakness also uh, or foot drop also and then you have a lateral malleolus pain ankle sprain what we call as for that also it can be used and if in this method you can see it is clearly supported the shin bone along with the lateral malleolus with some pressure you don't do not think when you apply this tape you have to apply correct amount of pressure percentage of pressure which we have talked yesterday that percentage is very very important and this the calculation of the percentage you will get to know once you learn the taping in a deep and you start practicing you will automatically get how much percentage but definitely not 100% so maximum of the condition taped between 25% to 75% so maximum of the condition get taped in that way okay then you have foot drop and shin bone again i told you already and okay this taping is a uh, yesterday i was talking about the convulsions you can see the convulsions here see so this tape is is used for maximum of the knee condition you can see there is one eye strip always do in a flexion position so flex your knee put the eye strip and then there is one strip from here another eye strip and this is one another small eye strip small eye strips to support the knee so basically uh, this 
taping method is used for your patellar patellar problem knee osteoarthritis knee pain so maximum of the knee uh, conditions this type of taping works beautifully it will support the patient it will reduce the pain so many things will happen even for the correction of the uh, you know varus valgus conditions that also can be used okay and then you have shoulder problem so this way you can use it for maximum of the shoulder issues even whether it's a deltoid issue whether it's a, a humerus uh, 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 what we call as uh, this one impingement uh, syndrome issue or uh, uh, capsule issue so uh, or bursa tendon whatever the issue you can use this this way of method of taping it will really helpful and believe me it will in, even frozen shoulder if you apply this it will increase immediately 10 to 20 degree of their range of motion and reduce the pain by 20 30% then you have this is a back method one of the method see i am telling you these are the one of the methods so to tape any of the pro, any of the joint there are many methods but uh, this is one of the method which we use it commonly and patient will get the relief so this is a uh, h shape uh, uh, back pain uh, taping so here again we tell the patient to flex forward and then we put one eye strip and always put the anchor here okay start from the low to up so always put the anchor here and then when the patient comes in a normal position you can see the convulsions and then again tell the patient to bend and apply one eye strip horizontally then you have this is for carpal tunnel syndrome this is also when you uh, again support the elbow it is also work for the uh, you know tennis elbow golfer's elbow but the only thing is the this taping position will be little bit medial or lateral side but this is how can be used and this is basically for the wrist drop or carpal tunnel syndrome okay then you have neck pain so common simple take one y strip start from here uh, around 3 3 3 4 three, 5 and then apply it and tell the patient to flex and move left side and right side apply this strips and then tell the patient to bend and again so same method uh, it's like you are using in a lower back pain same method you are using in a, a neck pain okay so till uh, any any doubts hope you guys got an idea i am not saying you learned something but because uh, i we try to level best to teach you some basic uh, ideas about the taping so hope you guys have uh, got some uh, knowledge about the taping for the posture women's health the common conditions okay so till now any questions so i have one doubt yeah so in carpal tunnel syndrome already pressure is increased so mm. if we do the taping will it not increase the pressure and no it? see that's that is the reason i told you once you apply the tape feel the tape because tape always uh, the, see uh, where you go back okay if you tight this if you put the more pressure while putting this then there is a pressure increase if you give a correct percentage of stretch and apply it properly then it will actually support it and this tape will lift the skin and give the room to flow and it actually reduces the swelling or pain or numbness in the hand you just try it and feel the thing okay yes sir okay then uh, this is a little bit about this uh, you can visit abhealthcareacademy.com for 180 plus theory and practical courses we are offering that all are short term courses and every course is approved by usa board and it is good for as good as for the uh, two credit hours it is uh, approved by abhyas and this is my contact number uh, you can uh, this is all details are given you can also follow the abhyas channel and the ab healthcare channel and this is my instagram id facebook id mobile number whatsapp number so you can connect with me if anything is there so that's how it is okay so thank you so much and hope you have learned for in two days uh, still if anybody having question they can ask hello sir can you hear me yes 
sir i want to know on what day of menses we apply these tapes i told for you for how many days yes yes i told you very clearly before that three or two four days from the expected date three to three to four days before the expected date and then apply the tape and keep it for five to six days five to six days means if let's say the calculation is correct then your uh, periods will start by fourth day and uh, it, it will uh, the tape will uh, come off by uh, th second or third day okay so initial two three days you can do it or if you want to go for a prolonged thing that you can also do it it depends if the tape is not irritable if you want to change the tape you can also re re uh, remove the tape and do it again that's not also not a problem okay sir thank you Anything so else? Can you, uh, so, can you explain how it can help in osteoarthritis? What? How taping can help in osteoarthritis? See, osteoarthritis. I already told you when you if you see the taping method for knee, first of all, it will gives gives you the support of the joint. See, I tell you, what is the basics of osteoarthritis? Basically. there is a degeneration on the bones and there is a extra bone formations either on the medial and lateral side or on the patellar thing right so the patient he flex or extend the knee that that extra bone start pinching inside on the soft tissue structures and that creates the pain and then later on the side it it that again it, the extra bone formations get more and more and more more and more and that will actually uh, uh that uh, that sinusoidal fluid goes off right so that is the severe condition of osteoarthritis no now once you do the taping for the osteoarthritis it first thing it will hold all the uh, bony structures all the bony joints if you see here see this this will place a patella in a fixed position and it will move it in a very limited way it will also limit the patellar movement okay then this if you see it will also uh, support the acl uh, ligaments and then medial ligaments and then your uh, uh, you put the pressure because here you put 75% of the pressure and go behind that pressure will be like forward push you know push forward so like this you push it forward and then you apply the tape so in this way this bone this joint goes little bit back and that once the joint little bit go back it it gives the room to move so it's simple like this this is a joint in osteoarthritis it it no uh, you know it it breaks on one on one so once you apply the tape in a little bit it change the position of the joint you know it gets room to move and it doesn't break on one on one right so that's how it uh, tapes work for uh, osteoarthritis case clear yes so thank you so so see i would request all of you better try uh, hope you guys have taken the screenshot of this positions so what you can do is try yourself and if anything is there you can come back to me okay so this is the contact details you can always ask me anything and if you want to do the courses you can always welcome to do that okay and soon i am going to uh, 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 launch uh, some women courses uh, women stepping courses in india and diploma courses that i will uh, uh, give you the information on it okay my website will have a information updated information so just keep checking on it anything else uh, sir yeah uh, sir on menstrual uh, taping sir sir we place the tanker in a bottom to top or top to bottom sir yes cross way okay so the where the where we place tanker sir what where we place the anchor sir so i told you on the see first i uh, go back this way see first anchor one anchor just below see this tape little bit uh, i have done it more because the the patient was uh, uh, small in height so that's why so i put it more uh, uh, covered this navel 
but if you want to cover the navel no issues so what you can do is just try to take two or three fingers down and take on the line of the navel start put put one anchor here and go this way and end here okay and then the same in the line on the right side start from here and go this way understand yes sir yes thank you sir yeah okay thank you so much thank you sir it was a wonderful thank session you, and uh, thank you for all the participants to join in this webinar i will share the uh, link of your our youtube video with you all and also will share the feedback form so kindly fill the form and after that we'll distribute the certificate by tomorrow morning okay thank you everyone see you tomorrow uh, for the next class